Alright gang, it's Ayu back with another tutorial. This one's going to show you how to add characters to the EVE Battle Screen Pack. Uh, this tutorial comes with two prerequisites. Uh, I'm assuming that you already have No Limit Win Mugen and you have EVE Battle downloaded, probably running, which I do not have, so I'm going to go ahead and install Mugen real quick. Let's see, extract. Works for me. All right, just I just extracted No Limit Win Mugen. Now I'm going to extract Eve Battle. Okay, so now I've got a uh, fresh copy of Mugen, fresh copy of Eve. Let's put them together. I'm going to copy the contents of Eve Battle into a Win Mugen's folder. Yeah, once again, I'm going to go ahead and overwrite because I'm a dick. And I'm going to run Mugen to make sure I didn't break it. No, it looks good to me. Alright, so now that I'm in EVE, here comes the first problem. People are saying that they're getting this. Isn't that beautiful, right? You're getting this, uh very well organized sorted list of where your characters could be but you can't pick any characters where are our characters let's fix that first things first since we just downloaded Mugen technically we only have one character to play around with and that character is KFM for Kung Fu Man whoop the freaking do lots of fun no but we're going to go ahead and mess around with him in a minute. But first things first, let me show you how to change EVE Battle so that instead of having the sorted system, you've got the non-sorted system. And to do that, we're going to go back to your Mugen folder. And we're going to go in Data. Under Data, there's going to be another folder called Evolve and there's a system and select.dev file in there. These are the two files that DJ Van added for you to switch from non-sort to sort. I'm going to copy the system and select.dev and I'm going to paste them into the data folder. But before I do that, since I don't like overriding my system and select because I mean one day I might want to use the sort system, I'm going to rename my original select.def to something fancy like select back so that I don't lose it. Same thing with that system file. System back. And now I'm going to paste that select and system from evolve. And now they're showing up right here. Now let's go ahead and run Mugen and see if there's any differences. Aha, check it out. That looks better. But we still don't have any characters. Let's add some characters. Now first things first, uh, I mentioned KFM, Kung Fu Man. I don't like them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some other characters real quick and add them in. I'm gonna pull some from a folder I've already got. Uh, let's see who I've got here. Yeah, King of Fighters all the way. I'm gonna copy my my uh. Actually no, I'll go ahead and unzip them. I'll un unzip them straight to the character folder. Documents and settings. Illustrator, desktop. No limit. Alright, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Looks like I forgot to create a character folder name. 
not a problem. I'm just gonna copy all this. All right, so now I've got Ignis. And who's next? Let's add zero, because zero kicks ass. Extract. Yeah, baby. Alright, so that should give me zero. Looks good. And just for good measure, I'll add a couple other characters. I'll do Chrysalid, Chrysalid, however you want to say it. And he has two forms, so I'm going to create another folder and give him Chrysalid 2. Extracting to the same place. Do it. Yeah. And one more to go. Excellent. Alright, so now when I go back to my character folder, I've got, it looks like, five people to play with. Woohoo! Great start. Now, now that I've got my characters technically added to Mugen, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my select.def under the data folder. And in this file, this is where DJ Van got cool with us. Because in the non-sort system, he set it up so that each row is uh, 26 characters across, and I think there's like 14 rows down for the top and bottom half of that screen that you saw. So if you scroll down into select.def far enough, you're going to get to this midpoint right about here. And it says that. I mean, right there it says midpoint. Great. If you start adding characters from this point, this is going to be the easiest for you to access when you get back into it. And if you start where it says random select, leave this at random select, this is the default question mark that your your screen's going to pop up on whenever you go into your arcade mode or versus battle or any battle for that matter. So I'm going to change the next random select to whatever the folder name of my character is. So I'm going to get rid of that and for the first character I'm gonna, I guess I'll put Kung Fu Man. 